More than 50 Western countries met on Wednesday to promise more weapons for Ukraine, especially air defenses, after Russia launched its most intense missile strikes since the war began. Speaking after a meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group in Brussels, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said Russia's latest attacks had laid bare Moscow's malice and cruelty. Those assaults on targets with no military purpose again reveal the malice of Putin's war of choice. But Russia's atrocities have further united the nations of goodwill that stand with Ukraine. Russian attacks using more than 100 missiles have killed dozens of people across Ukraine since Monday, when President Vladimir Putin ordered what he called retaliatory strikes against Ukraine for an explosion on a Crimea bridge. Air raid sirens sounded across Ukraine for a third day on Wednesday, with some reports of shelling, but no sign of a repeat of the intensive countrywide strikes of the previous two days. The missiles have mostly targeted civilian electricity and heating infrastructure, while some hit busy roads, parks and tourist sites, including the center of Kiev. Condemned by scores of countries around the world, Putin defends his invasion as a special military operation needed to ensure Russian security and protect Russian speakers in Ukraine. Since Monday's attacks, Germany has sent the first of four planned Iris-T air defense systems, while Washington said it would speed up delivery of a promised NASAMS air defense system. The systems will be provided as fast as we can physically get them there. Uh, we're also going to try to uh, provide additional munitions uh, to the existing systems that the, that the Ukrainian forces are using. In addition to arms, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Wednesday that increased financial support from international donors will help end the war more quickly, asking via video at a forum of the International Monetary Fund for $38 billion to help with next year's deficit. The more assistance Ukraine gets now, the sooner will come an end to the Russian war, and the sooner uh, the more reliably we will guarantee that such a um, cruel war will not spread to, into other countries. As his forces have lost ground on the battlefield since September, Putin has escalated the conflict, ordering the call-up of hundreds of thousands of reservists, proclaiming the annexation of Ukrainian territory and repeatedly threatening to use nuclear weapons to protect Russia. A senior NATO official said Wednesday a Russian nuclear strike would almost certainly provoke a physical response from Ukraine's allies and potentially from NATO.